The Council of Jerusalem holds a pivotal place in the history of Christianity and the early development of the faith. The Council, also referred to as the Apostolic Council, took place in approximately A.D. 50, several years after the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It brought together apostles and leaders from various Christian communities to address a pressing issue that threatened to divide the believers. At the heart of the matter lay the question of whether Gentile, non-Jewish, converts to Christianity needed to adhere to Jewish customs and traditions, particularly of circumcision. This debate had arisen due to the growing number of Gentiles embracing the teachings of Jesus and joining the Christian movement. Some Jewish Christians believed that these new converts should follow Jewish practices, while others argued that faith in Christ alone was sufficient. Amidst this theological tension, the apostles Peter and Paul played integral roles in shaping the discussions of the council. Peter, often seen as the leader of the apostles, shared his own experiences of witnessing God's acceptance of Gentiles who had received the Holy Spirit, emphasizing importance of faith in Christ and the indwelling of the Spirit. His words carried great weight reinforcing the message that salvation was available to all through Jesus. Following Peter's account, Paul spoke of the miracles and signs God had performed among the Gentiles, highlighting the divine affirmation of their faith. Both apostles shared their first-hand experiences and deep conviction in the inclusive nature of the gospel. Their testimonies resonated profoundly with those present fostering a spirit of unity and solidarity among the diverse believers gathered at the council. After much discussion, James, the brother of Jesus and a prominent leader in the Jerusalem church, offered a proposal that brought resolution to the debate, drawing upon Peter's and Paul's accounts, as well as the guidance of the Holy Spirit James suggested that Gentile converts should not be burdened with the observance if you followed all of your own words. Paul, all of you with the kingdom of king trips of Jewish customs, except her abstaining from certain practices that were considered morally objectionable. This decision was met with unanimous agreement and was later formalized in a letter sent to the Gentile Christian communities, affirming their inclusion and freedom, the obligation of Jewish rituals. The Council's ruling brought a sense of relief and unity among believers in different regions, fostering a greater understanding of the universal message of salvation through faith in Christ. The Council of Jerusalem stands as a testament to the early Church's commitment to seeking guidance and resolving disputes through prayer, mutual discernment, and leading of the Holy Spirit. It showcased the importance of unity in the face of challenges, and fostered a deeper understanding of God's inclusive love for all. The Council's decisions would have far-reaching implications, laying the foundation for the future growth and expansion of Christianity 